హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు ద ఛానల్ సో ఎస్ వీ ఆర్ ఎంటరింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద న్యూ యూనిట్ టుడే ఇన్క్లూజివ్ గ్రోత్ అన్న ఇష్యూస్ ఆర్ రైసింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇట్ సో దిస్ న్యూ యూనిట్ దిస్ ఇన్క్లూజివ్ గ్రోత్ ప్లేస్ అ వెరీ వెరీ వైటల్ రోల్ ఇన్ యువర్ మెయిన్స్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఇన్ యూపీఎస్సి మెయిన్స్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ సెపరేట్ యూనిట్ ఇన్ జిఎస్ త్రీ ఆఫ్ మెయిన్స్ so let's begin with this unit in this lecture we'll be dealing with what is inclusive growth different features of inclusive growth need for that inclusive growth and finally elements of inclusive growth so let's get into the lecture so what is inclusive growth it means economic growth which creates employment opportunities and also helps in reducing the poverty that is inclusive like getting access to essential services in health and education by the poor getting providing with equality of opportunity equality in education skill development these all come under inclusive growth so india is not a much not a so well inclusive country there are some de- deviations here and there so these all must be rectified for proper inclusive growth of the country like world bank says that inclusive growth refers to the pace and pattern of the growth which are interconnected and must address jointly this is simple we can take it in the indian scenario like for economic growth to happen it must create employment opportunities if employment opportunities are created it will reduce the poverty if poverty is reduced it will again boost the economic growth it is a cycle it must be addressed as, as one issue rather than different issues and as per organization for economic cooperation e oecd says inclusive growth is economic growth that is distributed fairly across societies and creates opportunities for all it says when poverty is reduced it must be reduced for all when employment opportunities are produced uh, produ- provided it must be given for all these all come under inclusive growth addressing all the options for one economic growth so now let us look at the features of economic growth see it is considered as the limitations of the excluded and marginalized because excluded and marginalized are included in the inclusive growth participation of all segments of society all people involved in this inclusive growth non discriminatory nature it does not discriminate people on basis on any features like caste religion gender or anything no it brings in all people has greater poverty right sorry has greater poverty reduction potential because the inclusive growth when all, because it's a cycle when one aspect works another aspect eventually works so that cycle follows and it reduces the poverty ensures that individuals have access to fundamental facilities and services such as basic health and education so this is something which must be tackled on tackled on access should cover both number and quality of these fundamental services like it should be accessible to all the sections of society uh, and which includes the wider range of population not only one single set of population all people and quality should be maintained among all the people like uh, helping uh, poor people in th- poor people social low socio economic groups and trailing areas who are all the participants of this growth now what is the need for the inclusive growth economic prosperity See, for the rapid and sustainable poverty reduction, inclusive growth is very very necessary because it contributes to the benefit of the economic prosperity. Industrial growth. See, India is a low, I mean India does not have a strong industrial base. So, that industrial growth is necessary for inclusive growth. Infrastructural issues like in, like in inadequate infrastructure hinders the pro- progress of economy and risks the middle income trap regional imbalance like 
equitable growth across all states and regions are essential and it must be taken into consideration like for example the estimated per capita income across sikkim was highest among indian states which was around 519000 rupees in the financial year 23 but it was only 54000 rupees in the state of bihar so that per capita income is very very low which must be dealt with and proper regional development must take place agricultural backwardness see despite having more than 50% of workforce in agriculture the contribution of agriculture towards the gdp is low poor nutrition level see addressing chronic undernutrition is crucial like which is clearly reflected by india's low global hunger index ranking like india was ranked 111 out of 125 countries in the 2023 global hunger index which shows a grim situation and the country's battle in, uh, with the widespread hunger among the youth among the population health and education see it entails the underprivileged having access to basic health and education services like like ensuring the equitable opportunity empowering individuals via education skill development etc like in keeping with this objective central and state governments budgeted expenditure on health sector reached 2.1% of gdp in 2021-22 which was which is against 1.3% in 2019-20 2.1 percentage is very very low compared to developed countries it must be very much higher for better reach among the societies among the underprivileged section of people so these all come under the need for the exclusive growth now what are the elements of inclusive growth skill development so we all know that india is currently in the phase of democratic dividend where the highest number of working age population so skill development plays a vital role here like unicef 2019 report states that at least 47 percentage of indian youths are not on track to have the education and skills necessary for employment in 2030 which which is very very high rate and it is alarming for the country's demographic dividend financial inclusion the financial inclusion is nothing but providing the access to all the people vulnerable groups at affordable cost for proper access to the financial services so that they can get some loans or whatever it may be for their better development next one is technological advancements see the world is moving towards uh, industrial revolution 4.0 where it has both capabilities to increase or decrease the inequalities depending on how they are used like several initiatives like digital india mission uh, brings in digitally literate population uh, which can be helped in leveraging the technology for endless possibilities so this is something how your technology must be used next one is economic growth so india is one of the fastest growing economies in the world but still india is facing a slow down due to cyclic and structural challenges so a 5 trillion economy by 2024 25 is a big big challenge it can help india in reducing the inequality increase the social expenditure and provide employment for all this is very much needed for the 5 trillion economy is very much needed for that social development see it means nothing but empowerment of all the marginalized sections our populace population like sc st obc minorities minorities women transgender like how can we empower us like improving the institutions of the social structures like hospitals especially healthcare in the rural sectors uh, say schools universities see we, we, we should know that investment in social structures social structures will not only boost growth uh, but also will create a healthy and capable generation for a better work in future for a bad, to handle the future work next one is energy security like providing enough affordable uninterrupted energy 
uh, for sustained economic activities which will benefit the economic growth and finally access to justice for all like providing affordable access to formal and informal justice systems is very much crucial for addressing the grievances among the population like these all elements combine together and bring into as one elements of inclusive growth see on the whole we should very much remember that when india looks into the inclusive growth which has almost started from 11th five year plan 12th five year plan but still there is a long way to go for the development and proper inclusive development to take place which can eventually boost the country's economic growth country's population eventually making india one of the most um uh, high highest economic country in terms of per capita income gdp P, uh, ppp everything so to achieve all that we need proper inclusive growth we we did look into today's lecture with only the basics of the, uh, inclusive growth so hope you guys understood today's lecture or uh, we'll be resuming with this unit in the upcoming lectures too do watch the video comment your doubts and we'll resume the like uh, unit in the next lecture thank you